Hey everyone, Tom and Bunny here, and I know we're getting ready to watch our next video. And if you find this video useful or some of the videos in the past, please do us a favor by booking your travel through us at tomstrips.com or give us a call at 1-800-285-0853 and I can answer any questions and get you booked on your next lifestyle vacation. Hey everyone, we're Tom and Bunny from TomAndBunny.com coming to you live from the Nashville area of Tennessee. And we were representing Tom's Trips, your leader in adult lifestyle travel to destinations all around the world and more by attending the Vibe Party in Murfreesboro, Tennessee this last weekend. You know what? We haven't really been out very much besides going to Jamaica. Jamaica. And uh, it was certainly great to get our feet wet and get in there and have fun again. Yeah, because the what are we in? April, middle of April, mm -hmm. going on middle of April. And we have been at Hedonism January, February, March, and we're going back <laughs> next week. So it, it's kind of a nice change to get to a local place mm -hmm. and we have a couple more events that we're going to be going to that we'll talk about at the end of this video so if you want to follow us uh come out and join us so we uh got the invite to be part of the vibe tribe yeah. while we are in uh hedonism for the miss no swimsuit and i think that we've actually probably found a home we did find a home now we have been to vibe one other time and it was probably about six years ago maybe five five and a half years ago when we first started with Tom's trips we went to a Halloween party at Vibe and we we, we were kind of busy the whole time so we we enjoyed ourselves but not like this weekend right now we did have a lot of help <laughs> yeah Mike and Denise <laughs> they really uh, pretty much held our hand and introduced us to everybody that they knew yeah. and so it was really really good Mike and Denise have been hosting for Tom's trips for 14 years mm -hmm. uh, long before we started yeah. and they go to trapeze Atlanta and they go to vibe parties those are the they also go to a couple other ones but those are the two that they're most well known at and believe me, they have a great presence at Vibe. Everybody who was anybody, who wasn't anybody, who was somebody, they all knew Mike and Anise. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And Mike and Anise personally brought them and introduced us. And that made our jobs a lot easier. Well, and just it made the fact of getting to meet people a lot easier, too. It's always great when you have somebody that... Kind of helps you out a little bit. Yeah. I mean, even as long as we've been in this life, it's great to um, have friends, to meet other friends. Right. See, I say right a lot. You do. Literally. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, um, now Vibe had a new location. They did have a new location. Now, um, the uh, ironic part is when me and Bunny were transporting RVs for a while, when... COVID hit and we had nothing better to do except try to make money. <laughs> we would stay at the hotel that Vibe was hosting at. And we always thought while we were staying there, it wasn't a lot of people at the hotel. No, no. Uh, it's an older hotel, but it's big. It's huge. And we thought, man, what a great place to have a lifestyle event at. And, uh, and you know, I mentioned that too. And to the owners of Vibe. I don't know if I can mention their names, but I did mention that to them. And she's like, you know, we've been trying to get this location for over seven years. What a great location. Boy, and let me tell you, what a great way to blow it out. I mean, glow party. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was a great, great weekend. Yeah. So and you want real quick, you want to give their um, information for Vibe parties? I just, oh, I, we, we had to restart the video. So if you want to Google our research vibe while you're watching our video or after, and I'm going to put their web address throughout the video and at the end of the video, it's partiesbyvibe.com. P-A-R-T-I-E-S-B-Y-V-I-B-E.com. Mm -hmm. And if you're 
listening to us on a podcast, you're welcome to jump over to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching us on YouTube, you can listen to us on podcasts. We are <laughs> Tom and Bunny everywhere on social media, Instagram and Twitter. So be sure to like and subscribe. There. Now I won't make you start, start all over. Thank you. So, you know, the week it vibe is a hotel takeover. Yes. And they do have a their parties on Friday night and on Saturday night. So you're getting the most bang for your buck for the whole weekend. Yeah. And um, Friday night started off with spring break. And Saturday night was glow. No, two totally different. Two totally different. Vibes. <laughs> yes. You like how I threw that yes. in there? <laughs> and they had two different DJs. One on Friday and one on Saturday. So the music kind of correlated with each one too. Yeah. So going with the spring breaker, now uh, me and Bunny, we like more of the top 40 music mm -hmm. and music that you hear on the radio or that you can bump around to. Friday night, the DJ had the dance floor packed and he was playing all those cool songs that we used to play at our club. Right. It and was kind of like a big mix of what we used to play and yeah. yeah it was like threw about a lot back a lot of memories yeah he um he was a phenomenal dj we we were really 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 impressed and mm -hmm. just the dance floor never quit and then um the spring break party everyone was kind of just wearing it was they said dress like you would if you were on spring break so yeah. you had people in shorts bikinis, and bikinis thongs thongs what um so it was very very simple and easy to wear I, what did i wear oh i have a little white outfit that i usually wear to hito and i actually pulled that one out and wore it and oh yeah it, it's a victoria's secret it's like um it's a it's actually a bathing suit cover but it, but it, you know, she looks naked <laughs> under it so and she well, wasn't I, wearing a bathing i am naked under it yeah you weren't wearing a bathing suit <laughs> under it <laughs> so um no then there was a lot of people that that are regulars there, and they all had their um, airbrushed T-shirts that yeah, said "Spring there was Break 2024." Yeah, a whole crew of those people, mm -hmm. and they kept coming over. So that was really cool because I kept saying, "Yeah, you must all went to the same airbrusher." <laughs> but no, it, I was very, very impressed. Um, not only by the way the parties are ran, by the size of it, but just the people were just really. Super nice. They were really, really, really nice. They were very young. <laughs> yeah, a lot more younger than us, but they still talk to us old people. They did. Maybe they didn't think that we were so old. Hopefully not. You kept asking me if you looked younger. I was trying. <laughs> then um, uh, the nice thing about the location of the Vibe Party is the proximity to restaurants. Uh, Ubers. Ubers mm -hmm. are uh, in abundance. Um there, there, we went to a restaurant for a breakfast or brunch mm -hmm, on Saturday. On Saturday, and there was a restaurant in the parking lot. I don't want to give too much details because no. I'm not sure uh, people need to book to get the information. So I don't want to give away the dedicated no, location. No, exactly not. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a Walmart right across the street. That pretty much everything you need. You can almost walk to if you really want to. Mm -hmm. We went to Walmart and then actually ended up walking back. Yeah. But no, and then let's talk about Saturday night because Saturday night glow parties are always well, my favorite. We'll talk about Saturday day. Oh, yes, Saturday day and all the pool party that they did and all yeah. the activities. Yes. So our um, Miss No Swimsuit contestant, she took second place. Mm -hmm. and they, her and her husband, hosted a pool party yep. from one till it was only supposed to be a couple hours but i heard it went till six o'clock at night and the party started at eight o'clock at <laughs> night so the party got a little started a little later so yeah no i know that they did a wet t-shirt contest i believe they did a wet underwear contest a wet <laughs> underwear contest hey you gotta let the guys get out there and oh it was guys oh the girls never came <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, it was packed. It was very packed. Yes. It was very packed. Um, but no, they did an amazing job doing their their games and getting people involved. Yeah. So 
But I did see a couple on the wet t-shirt. Some of the people were like, just like, here, here's your shirt. Oh, <laughs> really? Guess, oh, okay. <laughs> but that's know. what happens when you're friends. Yeah. You yeah. kind of get voluntold. Voluntold. <laughs> voluntold. I don't know if they got voluntold. I was just watching from a distance. But it was it was fun to watch, definitely, for sure. If you're wondering why Bunny keeps looking at me if you're watching on YouTube, it's because... I'm technically deaf, so I have to see people, but since she's this close, <laughs> I can actually hear her. <laughs> so yeah, and typically when I talk to Tom, I'm always looking at his face so yeah. he can read my lips. She likes my pretty face. I do. I do. He's very <laughs> handsome. But no, now I want to talk about Saturday night because Glow Party is my absolute favorite no matter where we go. Glow Party is by far Bunny's ultimate favorite theme. Mm -hmm. It's easy to dress to. The music is always pumping. So yeah, you it's can more upbeat, kind yeah. of techno-ish. So now that DJ on Saturday night came in and he played all of the hottest house and dance music that you can imagine. Yeah. He had that place bumping. Yeah, he was actually, he was a really great DJ. I was going to say good DJ. He, no, he was really a great DJ. Both DJs were awesome. And they both catered to two different types of genre. And we we couldn't have been more happier. Mm -mm, no, and don't forget, you know, they come in there and they take a hotel lobby area that's nothing. It's a blank canvas. It's a blank canvas. And they make it into a nightclub for one weekend. And the glow stuff around it, they put up the black walls with yep. glow paint on them. And heck, just the DJ there system was an alone. Upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what would it be called? I don't even... There, there, they had a shadow box up there. They had a dance pole up there. Down below, they had two dance poles. Then they had the big uh, area that looked like a rock concert mm -hmm. with all so the lighting. and they, Their huge truss system. The truss and system. Their, their and dance floor. Then they had a cage. Not only was the dance floor like tiles that were stuck together they were nice and soft yes so when you were out there dancing it wasn't like you were trying to like dance on a hard floor and slip everywhere it you was really say right <laughs> it worked out perfectly well <laughs> but i will have to say that that was probably by far the most black lights that i have ever seen at a glow party and that's what makes a glow party successful mm -hmm. Uh, Everybody was glowing. Yes. Even if you wore a pale colors, you were still glowing. It there, were, there were some awesome, awesome outfits. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, i tell you what. I was sitting back watching, and I was just kind of cracking up and laughing because watching the um, the crowd was reminded me so much of way back in our day when we would go to the... Um, lifestyle conventions in las vegas yeah oh yeah we, we were about that age and yeah. man we were up at like well we we're up about 11 o'clock in the morning <laughs> and we were going until about nine in the morning right and uh, that's what they were doing get they a few just hours had sleep a great time. and start over yes. again now uh, you know what though what we didn't see because unfortunately we went did go to bed a little bit early on saturday night they had an after hours party too so up on that area where they had that, I saw a DJ system. They had system. a full DJ system up there. So when the party was done over here, the after hours party took off. Okay, yeah. Uh, Mike was saying they'll go till six in the morning, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we're we're a little beyond that now. <laughs> but um, people always ask us uh, age demographics, and I will say that. The general age was a younger crowd, mm -hmm. probably in their mid late thirty ish to forty ish. Maybe I'm thinking a little younger. Well, no, I'm just talking in the meat. In potatoes. the meat and potatoes, yes. Um, very, uh, a lot of people were very physically fit, and but they weren't arrogant physically fit. They were having a great time. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful people. There were people of all shapes and sizes, but the majority seemed to fit that physically fit crowd mm -hmm. so if that's the type of party you're looking for that is the place to go to but you know what there was like tom said there I am is not a physically whole fit. <laughs> oh, i'm far from physically fit there is a whole mix of all kinds of different people so if you're looking there's something for everybody yeah 
Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we, like I said, we just get asked because there are people that want to go to more of a fluffy club and some people want to go to a very young club. Some people want to go to a physically fit and there's nothing wrong with mm-hmm. any of those and there's nothing wrong with any of the clubs wanting to run a certain way. No. But, I mean, we want to put that out there. Uh, our club that we used to run, we cater to everybody and... There were clubs a couple miles from us that catered to under 30 and physically fit, or you had to have a wallet to prove your worthiness. Mm -hmm. We never agreed with that back then, and we still personally don't. But like I say, it. it's a, well, I mean, but there, we can't now because we're beyond, we're beyond that. that. <laughs> but no, the, the vibe party was just, it was a fun experience well, for let's everybody put it, let's put it this way they're such a friendly group that not only you know we know qu- quite a few of them from our Ms. no swimsuit contest in jamaica right and one of our other contestants from trapeze was there so they came in from atlanta yeah uh there was a couple there that came to Ms. no swimsuit and didn't know anybody they kind of got a adopted by the vibe tribe when we were oh, in jamaica yeah. and they flew all the way in from salt lake city utah yes and then i did see on facebook that there was somebody else that came in from houston did you see the map there were people from california they what they did was they took a map of the united states and here we are tennessee and they uh, colored in all the states in blue not being political but who came to the Vibe Party this last weekend. I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, it's on there. I did not there. see it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it's actually kind of mm-hmm. cool that they mm-hmm. were listing where everyone came from. But it was an amazing party, and we're definitely going to be back for sure. Yeah, now, uh, Vibe was talking to us. They used to do parties once a month, and they would put out that tickets are for sale, Kid you not, as fast as Garth Brooks, Taylor Swift, and all the big name artists, they would sell out in under 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I mean, whole entire hotels, people were sitting there like Ticketmaster, click, 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 click. And even overflows, yeah. Yeah, we had to stay in the overflow the first time Mm -hmm. because we couldn't even get into the, the main hotel. Yes, you want to stay in the main hotel because you don't want to have to leave to go to another hotel, and most likely people aren't going to leave with you to go to another hotel. <laughs> no. So you want to have a room at the host hotel, so that way you could take your private party and go have some fun privately, then go back to the main party. Now, they do have a playroom there. Mm-hmm. Their playroom had a bondage area, had a lot of beds and... A lot of apparatuses. Right. But you also got to understand that every state is different on what they can allow in their playrooms. So so everything is a little bit different in each state if you go to different hotel parties. Yes. Uh, but, you know, sometimes in the hotel parties, um, the people will take people to their rooms because of more the accessibility right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's a lot more convenient. A lot more convenient. And you got a shower. And... Yeah. And the best way, how's the best way to get somebody in your room? Hey, you guys want a shot? Come on over. That's what you used to say. Of course. <laughs> of course. Now that we got you here. So now Vibe does their party every couple months. And um, they were telling us that they were seeing a trend that when they were having a party, that people were booking so fast that the the trend was they would they were spending too much money um it can happen it can happen and they were about taking money they were obviously they're about making money but they started doing their parties a little farther apart so people could recoup because by the time you pay for the party the hotel the travel the food and everything it can add up pretty fast and in some cases um babysitters Dog sitters. Do- dog sitters. <laughs> we took Bama with us. <laughs> we did. We did. I don't think she'll be going to the next one. No. We, uh, it was a little too uncomfortable for her in the yeah, she, stuff she in a room. Yeah, she was stuck behind the pillows. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, it's very admirable. Uh, we really appreciate that. They're looking at the, the owner of Vibe. He's a mathematical genius. 
and he's looking at all the associated costs and everything and he just didn't feel comfortable knowing that people were probably spending their last few dollars. But, you know, I honestly think, too, when when you have them every month, then it kind of gets mundane and it gets to be the same thing and the same people. But I think when you have them only, you know, five or six or something a year, then it gets more excitement. You get more excitement I think so built too. up, too. I think so, too. Um, because when it's every single month... We ran a club for 20 years. We were open five nights a week. We could tell you, we, we, we had a lot of new people, of course, but we could see the same people on each specific night. Mm -hmm. I mean, Saturday mm -hmm. was always the same <laughs> group of people. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's like seeing your friends once a week. Well, uh, one of the funny stories that I always tell everybody is I bartended for 18 years back behind that bar. And... We used to let the girls dance up on the bar. Oh, yeah. And I could tell you who had a birthmark, who had this, who had that, just because I seen the same thing every week. I loved it when uh, people would go, where's Tom? And you'd be like, hold on, he'll be around in a minute because there's a new girl up on the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and here I come here peeking around, the, around corner. the corner. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, parties by vibe. Uh Check them out. Definitely book. You want to book early and fast. Uh, you want to join their website. You got to book like this. Yeah. <laughs> and in order to be on their website, you have to at least go to, I think it's two parties a year, mm -hmm. just to stay on their website. Yes. Now, um, I think that they have one coming up in June, according to what Mike was saying, but I don't, I think we're even going to have a scheduling conflict with that one too i think we're going to a wedding in pennsylvania that weekend yeah we're pretty much booked every weekend um so um but you might see us somewhere in the summertime out there for sure now the the first weekend uh if you want to know our kind of our schedule right now first weekend of may we're going to be in las vegas for the buyout and it's a buy event and it's for buy couples and singles and we're going to be there representing Tom's Trips because Tom's Trips host the only buy week in at Hedonism in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. This year, we're only in April and the event's not until October. October 5th. We only have, as of right now, how many rooms? Because it, it was nine. Nine rooms. I thought it was eight. So nine rooms out of 289 rooms. So it's crazy how fast it's selling out. So we're going to be there representing for the 2025 <laughs> bye week right. at Hedonism <laughs> to let people know about it. And then when we come back, we're, we're going to be home for a couple weeks, aren't we? We are going to be home for a couple weeks in May, yes. Okay, so, and then at the last weekend of May, we just put out a little video on it. We'll be at Sooner Swing with Justin and Kaylee with On the Border Lifestyle Group in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And that's otbls.com. If you want to check out On the Border Lifestyle and book Sooner Swing and come visit with us the end of May. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're going to be home all of July. I don't know how the heck but that we, worked. But you just bypassed June. <gasps> I did bypass June, didn't I? <laughs> we're so, not going to be home much in June. June, the first weekend of June. First weekend and in June, is uh, we're going to be at a wedding in Pennsylvania. Yes, we're going to be uh, our entertainers and... You already said their name, Beth and Kyle. <laughs> He's a singer, saxophonist, and she is the cutest girl. She, um, they're going to get married. They've been together... 17 years. 17 years, <laughs> and they're going to finally do it. And we got invited, so we're going to go down there, and we're going to stop in at the Corral mm -hmm. that Friday night. Yep, I think that's June 7th, I think, is that Friday night, okay. and we're going to be at the Corral. And that's Spring Grove, Pennsylvania, and that's thecorral.com if you want to check that out. Mm -hmm. Then the second week of June... We're June 15th through the 22nd. We're going to be back at Hedonism. Okay, that's for Cassidy Crush. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then when are we in Michigan for... 
Um, oh, that's well, August. Hold on. Yeah, so that's what you say. Oh, I kept thinking that was June. No, no, no. So all of July we're going to be home. I don't know how that ever worked out, but it will be. Will be nice. Um, now, the, yes. The, if they want to go to Cassidy Crush with us in June, are, are there still no? Rooms? We're sold out. Oh my God, they're sold out. But we do have North Haven. I believe it is the first weekend in August. Yes, and that's in Brooklyn, Michigan, mm -hmm. and that is it's. I always say North Haven Resort in Brooklyn, Michigan. There is a North Haven. Something else, I think it's a golf course or something else. Don't mistake it. When you Google, type in North Haven, Brooklyn, Michigan, and you'll find it. Mm -hmm. And that is a clothing optional nudist campground. Campground if with a it, lot of parties even, going on. I don't know if you can call it a campground. It's not, it's, it's an upscale. So nice. It's totally upscale. It's so nice. Um, um, so we're going to be there, I believe it is the first weekend in August, and it's for their Taste of Hito weekend. Okay, so we'll be representing Tom's yes, trips for that. We will be. Um, then, at the end of August, we actually get our own little vacation, and we are going to the Great Smoky Jeep Invasion. Oh, yeah, and Gat uh, we'll be in Pigeon Forge, but it's mm -hmm. Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And last year, 20,000 Jeeps signed up. 50,000 showed up. Mm. <laughs> so Bunny has our hotel already. We are ready. I'm ready to roll on that one. Yep. And then um, September 7th, we will be back at the Corral in Spring Grove, Pennsylvania yep. for the crowning of their Ms. Corral, who will represent them next year at Ms. No Swimsuit. Yep. And then the end of September, we don't have anything else, right? No. Okay. So the end of September, we'll be back at Hedonism for our sunny buns. Mm -hmm. There are rooms for that. We do. September That's sept 28th through the sep October 5th? Yes, yeah, September 28th to October 5th. I do have rooms available for sunny buns. So if you want to go with us to hedonism in the end of September, early October, and it's great weather, mm -hmm. uh, phone number's right down, wait, right over here. I always mess that up. 800-285-0853. Or go to tomstrips.com. You can see all of our group trips. And then we go straight into October 5th to the 12th, our bye week. Mm -hmm. Like I said, nine rooms left for that one. Nine rooms. So if you are a bi couple, um, unfortunately, the single rooms are not available because we only sell 20 of them. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, they have to be double occupancy. So it could be a couple, two guys, two girls. But it has to be two people to the room. There are only nine rooms left, and they are the cheapest rooms available. Yes, Meaning price-wise. And they are Garden View regulars. Yes. They start at, they are at $2.45 a night per person based on double occupancy. Yeah, so if you want to go to that, definitely book. It is a crazy week. And that's October 5th through the 12th, 2024. Yeah, because we haven't released... 2025 yes we got to get to 2024 yes and i think we're pretty much unoccupied to, through the rest of the year so far yeah yeah man i couldn't live the life of a rock star I, you do <laughs> i'm not as busy no and they get paid they get paid <laughs> i mean we get paid we get paid we don't get paid millions and billions no we love our jobs we do love our jobs yep. the 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 joke of that is is people will say to us oh my gosh you're youtube famous and tom's like no famous oh, no, people you're make, celebrities you're celebrities no celebrities make money yeah we're not celebrities <laughs> no, we're just youtube junkies <laughs> we just like to have fun on camera <laughs> we just like to talk a different kind of fun yes yep. yes we talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think that we're pretty much done with what we did this weekend. Yep. So again, check out partiesbyvibe.com. And they have a Facebook group. You can only get in it if you go to their parties and you are registered on their actual website. Because uh, their website's a social media website. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way you can book their events. So definitely check them out. And... We will let you know when the next Vibe Party will be at, but we're excited to be part of the Vibe Tribe. Exactly. Good. It's good to find a home again. Yes. 
So that being said, I guess we'll see you guys soon. We'll see you soon.